I have a caller on the line. Cynthia, are you there? I'm here. Absolutely. Well, Cynthia, welcome. Thank you so much for for calling. And uh, I met you uh, in a recording session up at Hilltop Recording Studio. And uh, tell tell everybody, what's your last name again? Talent. Cynthia Talent. Cynthia? Yes. Well, thank you so much for calling. And uh, uh, you've got a little story to tell. So won't you go ahead and share that with our listening audience? Okay, and I'm going to try not to cry. That's okay. (laughs) Crying's good. That's right. So um, my dear friend Bobby Gibson came to you, and um, y'all recorded a song, Heaven is Your Hometown. And that song means so much to me. Um, Next month makes three years since I lost my oldest son, Corey. And as a mother, you pray, you pray for your children. You pray that they're happy and whole. And so I know my son is happy and whole now. And I know that heaven is where he's at. Heaven is his hometown now. And so this song inspires me every time I hear it. And I told um, my granddaughter, who is now nine, she was six when she lost her daddy. And I told her about this song. And I told her that Mr. Bobby is thinking about doing a video and that he wants a picture of her daddy oh. to put in video um, along with some others that will be in there. And um, that just tickled her something. And uh, she told her other grandmother and grandfather, because she lives up there in Michigan with them now. Okay. And they sat down um and listened to Bobby's song, and it brought tears to all their eyes. And it's a comforting factor for her. And so she also told me she's going to go. She goes to a Catholic school. She's going to go back, tell her teacher, and tell her classmates about this song. And hopefully her teacher will play that song today because this is Holy Week for them. And um, so she is just she is ecstatic and thrilled over this song just like I am. And I feel like others can relate to the song in so many ways. Wow. Well, I, I know, of course, uh, uh, Mitch Townley is, uh, he's the writer of the song and he listens, uh, he listens in a lot to faith country radio. And, and but, uh, if it's not too painful, could you tell me about your boy? Yeah. Corey was, um, 33 years old. Um, he was my, he was the one that made me a mom and he actually, um, he struggled with drug usage, uh-huh. and that's what eventually got him. Uh-huh. So um, I miss him every day. Um, I, I just anybody that's lost a child kind of understands what I'm going through. Sure, sure. Well, uh, that uh, that is, uh, uh, you know, a lot of times we don't understand uh, death and. Um, but there's always, you know, God can always make, God can always make something good uh, out of it. And uh, uh, my wife and I, uh, we lost a little baby. She she was stillborn. My wife carried her for nine months, and uh, it just seemed so unreal that I you wouldn't think that, you know, what can, what good can, can can come out of you know your child dying? You know what what can come out of that? But uh, honestly, at our baby's funeral, uh, there was 11 people saved uh, at our baby's funeral. And, and one of the, one of the, some of the people that were saved uh, was my wife's doctor, uh, her uh, obstetrician, uh, and his nurse got saved at the baby's funeral. And, and he has went on now. Um, he's, he's actually from uh, practices in Chillicothe, Ohio. And everybody that comes to his office, all of his patients, he gives each one of them a Bible now. Oh. And so, see, you know, uh, that, and that was, um, how long ago? It's probably like, you know, maybe, I don't, I don't know, 40 years ago, uh, 35, 40 years ago. And yet, you know, that funeral touched his heart. And God's work is still going on, you know. So uh, just like this song, you know, uh, maybe, uh, who knows, your granddaughter sharing a song or 
or, or, or you know, Bobby, uh, Bobby spreading this song in the video. Man, that's, that is going to be powerful. Uh, it's going to be powerful when we get that video done. But uh, anyhow, the, you know, the, you, there are so many times in our life, situations that just, you know, that you don't think that anything good can come out of it. But, but God can use situations. And even your testimony today, you calling uh, and, and somebody out there listening and, and you know, uh, maybe they didn't accept, uh, maybe they got mad at God, you know. Uh, but, but the fact that you're open hearted and uh, uh, you're still serving God, that, that, that means a lot, I think. I think that really encourages people today. And I appreciate you taking the time to call us. Well, and thank you for your part in helping with the song, um, getting it out there. And um, I'm, I'm all the time promoting it myself. Uh-huh. And a lot of people are thanking me afterwards. And once they listen to it, they're thanking me um, because it touched them in some way, in some aspect of their life as well. Awesome. Now, now where are you from, Cynthia? I'm from Mobile, Alabama. All right. So, about my accent. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think I, I think you and I were I, I think we're related because we're both hill, we're both hillbillies. Yeah, you know you've got the ocean, but I've got the hills up here. So, right. uh, but, we, but, but we talk that way. I, I've had people. Uh, uh, I visited places before and uh, went, visited Michigan one time. Was up there uh, and uh, playing in our little gospel group. We stopped in a, a store, you know, just a quick stop kind of thing. And these ladies kept me talking and i had to go we had to leave and i was like you know you know then they were like kind of laughing and i said what's going on they said we just love to hear you talk <laughs> you know? so uh, uh i'm glad that you know uh southern people are uh i, I think i would rather have a uh, talk to a southern person than than a, a, a northern person any day you know because it's, it's just comforting to me that's what i grew up around so right but it's a new and they've kept me talking up there and then um they said we love your accent and i said oh no i don't have an accent y'all have an accent <laughs> yeah. that's right you you you're the ones is with the accent that's so cool. right <laughs> <laughs> well thank you for listening cynthia and uh we just wish you a great day in the lord today and happy easter and uh, i'm going to play old bobby right now so Yay! Uh, you, yay! I love it. You, Thank you. You have a great one. Thank you for calling. All right. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Bye. Here's Bobby Gibson and Heaven is Your Hometown. Are you feeling like a stranger? Kind of like you don't fit in. Don't belong in the world you're living in Do you get a little homesick For somewhere you ain't seen Well that's how it feels when you believe Heaven is your hometown Just a couple more turns now And that gravel road you're on's gonna turn Ahead, you can lay your trouble down. And heaven is your hometown. Do you wake up in the morning feeling all the aches and pains of a world that gets more worn down by the day? Are you caught up in a hard time? Can't see beyond the tough Cause you're looking straight ahead Instead of looking up Heaven is your hometown Just a couple more turns now And that gravel road you're on's gonna turn to gold I know it's feeling like a long drive Following that one light Ahead, you can lay your trouble down and Heaven is your hometown When God gets finished 
Heaven is your hometown Just a couple more turns now And that gravel road you're on Is gonna turn to gold I know it's feeling like a long drive Following that one light There's a place ahead You can lay your trouble down And heaven is your hometown Heaven is your hometown 